Hey guys, welcome back to another Small Business Spotlight. Today we are at Sweet Ashley's with the store manager, Autumn. So Autumn, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good, happy to be here. Good, good. So tell me a little bit about Sweet Ashley's. Sweet Ashley's is a gourmet chocolate confection store. Uh, we do more than just chocolates and candies. We do gourmet turtles, gift baskets, candied apples, dipped strawberries, Really anything you can think of and more. Oh, yeah, and it's it, once you come in here, it is absolutely amazing. You guys have it decked out to the max for Halloween. Um, so give me an idea of what brought you guys to McDonough. Well, Sweet Ashley's has always been in McDonough. The company itself is over 20 years old. It did start as a cake decorating business um, that went on to Food Network. TLC started its own TV show with Ashley because who's the owner. Yeah. Um, she did retire from the cake industry, and this is just our first brick and mortar retail store. And uh, we decided to go along the chocolate and sweets and sugar route. And she's been doing some of this stuff from the very beginning, along with her cakes like dipped strawberries. She has quite a reputation for, has a huge following for. So it was just our first uh, first location to have in McDonald's. Tell me a little bit more about the food network aspect of things. Okay. Um, Ashley Vicos uh, is self-taught confection, um, making cakes. She loved to decorate, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We love presentation, which is why we consider ourselves more of a gift boutique than a candy store. Okay. Um, everything is available ready to give a gift immediately. I'll even put it in a cute little gift bag with tissue paper and off you go. Awesome. We have everything in one. Um, so she really liked having everything look very pretty. Um, and specialized in those cakes. She went on to Food Network, was one of the first women to break through the cake industry in the 2000s, because um, it still wasn't normal for it to be. It was a man's world, and she was a Southern Belle blonde, <laughs> red lips, blue eyes, blonde hair, and um, she just broke through that industry. She'd worked in television before, and uh, won those cake shows on right. TLC and Food Network, making these really tall 10-foot cakes, um, Disney theme stuff like that so then she went out to TLC did some more and then she got offered her own Food Network television show uh, that it was called cool. Have Cake Will Travel yeah that is awesome yeah so that she, is so cool she traveled the US made even taller cakes even heavier cakes um, for the Marines for Ringling Brothers for Mardi Gras all over, all over. Um, and then she even toured in Europe with her wow. uh, television show yeah that is so cool that is so cool so as far as what are the future goals of, of you guys? Well, Sweet Ashley's um, does hope to continue in McDonough. We are looking into a second location at the moment that we try to, we're gonna try to get opened up before the end of the year. Uh, the future doesn't hold cakes for us at the moment. Okay. Um, when we first opened, we were interested in doing cake products, but there was another bakery and there's enough talent around. We don't wanna compete with anyone. We know that our product speaks for itself. So we did avoid that uh, at the time we opened. Maybe in the future we can bring that back at a different location, we'll see. But um, really our future is to just keep bringing sweets to McDonough, letting people know that we are here because yeah. there isn't anything like this south of Atlanta. No. And no. we are uh, in a strip mall outside of McDonough Square. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people miss us. People yeah. don't know that we do painting classes. We do cake, uh, not cake decorating, chocolate decorating classes. Awesome. Um, we're even hosting a murder mystery event no this Friday, yeah. That's so awesome. we try to offer events for weekends, some nightlife in McDonough Square, just sometimes it gets hit under the radar. Yeah, well definitely, we, and, and that, that's the whole purpose of what we're trying to do. We want to be able to bring some light and some eyes to the small businesses around, right? Um, because the, the community can't back you if they don't know you, mm -hmm. right? And so we, what we want to do is be able to put a face with a name, and really just kind of let, let the community do, do as, as it does. Um, and so we've seen a lot of really good feedback and, and so we're hoping that the, the community jumps on you guys um, as they already have. Uh, but as far as everything goes, I mean, you guys literally cover everything sweet and it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, just stepping in here, you know, it smells good, it feels <laughs> good. Uh, it's everything you want about walking into a sweet location, mm -hmm. right? Um, so as far as, is there anything else that you want to express to the community or, you know, I know you mentioned a few different things that you guys do, mm -hmm. but is there anything else? Um, just stay in tune on our Facebook page. We do okay. try to post everything there. 
um, to get the word out. We have something for everybody and it's not always seasonal. When okay. we get into our very busy season, we get big corporate orders and wholesale orders. Um, we do try to keep things in store that don't get affected by the fall or Halloween or Christmas. So there's still gifts that are outside of what you expect. Okay. Um, and we're always off, uh, we're always willing to help. Uh, we want you to have a personal shopping experience. When you first get in here, there's a lot to look at. Yeah. So all you have to do is ask and let me know. We can let try to gear you right into the right place. Um, we do themes, bridal showers, baby showers, weddings. There's no limit, especially yeah. when it comes to the creativity of Ashley Vicos. And yeah. we even do custom orders. Good. I don't take the custom orders. She's the one in charge of it because honestly, there's no boundary to what she knows <laughs> she can do. And I, I don't have that same creativity. So. Right. She handles all the custom orders, and we do them every week. Awesome. So as far as your custom order, what would that look like, just ballpark? Custom orders uh, that you just message on Facebook. You talk with the cho chocolatier herself. There's not middlemen that you have to go through, so you always get the accurate information, um, the best quotes, the best prices, and the design. Um, she can uh, be inspired by a design if you already have something in, in mind or have a theme for a party or whatnot. Uh, but she does a lot of stuff freehand. She comes up with her own designs. We do our all of our own packaging and labeling. So she's a business and graphic designer as well. Wow. So it just kind of applies fully. So we've even done, um, you know, business logos and stuff like that and just applied it to the chocolate realm. Yeah. You wanted to eat your company logo. <laughs> <laughs> but we've worked with Chick-fil-A. We've worked with private airlines. We've worked with um, huge office parties and whatnot. So. That's there's a lot there's a lot to do yeah a lot to keep us busy. definitely a lot so as far as everything goes uh we will have all of your links below um in in inside the youtube or, or facebook wherever you're watching this you go below and you can find their website you can find anywhere you need to be to order something or at least be able to find the location um as usual we do appreciate you um and i can't wait to see where you guys go no oh, thank you for stopping by it was for a pleasure sure. absolutely